The senior Karamoja minister being chauffeured in a police car arrived at the Kololo based anti corruption court at around midday. She was clad in a symbolic yellow blazer. She was quickly led into the court cells where she joined one of her relatives with whom she is accused of swindling iron sheets meant for the vulnerable Karamajongs. I don't want to be down. <laughs> In court, Minister Mary Goretti Kitutu was charged with causing loss of public property contrary to Section 101 of the Anti Corruption Act of 2009 and conspiracy to defraud contrary to Section 309 of the Penal Code Act. Her brother was, on the other hand, charged with receiving stolen property. The duo pleaded not guilty to the charges before Chief Magistrate Joan Achiro. Yes, I have understood. Is it true? It's not true. It is not true. And I'm not guilty. The minister's personal assistant, Joshua Abaho, with whom she is accused, was not present in court. Upon taking plea, the minister's legal team, led by Jude Biamukama, applied for bail on grounds that the minister was of advanced age has a heart problem that requires routine medical attention and had a fixed place of abode, among other grounds. After our application for A1 uh, to be granted bail by the Senate of the Court, on bail, and the court may grant that person bail on such conditions as the court considers reasonable. And the second one, my worship, is Article 28, Clause 3, which presumes every accused innocent until he's proved guilty or until he has admitted his offence. They went ahead and lined up a number of sureties, including her husband, Michael Chitutu, and MP Wambede. In response, however, prosecution led by Assistant DPP Joseph Namatovu protested the bail application, saying the minister committed a grave offense of causing the loss of over 14,000 iron sheets, and if released, she could jeopardize the ongoing investigations at the OPM. These asked for more time to peruse through her file and keenly study the documents presented in support of her bail applications for bail have not been made and the sureties that have been presented before you your own do not meet the requirements for the release of bail in colonial crimes such as this one about the applicants previous conduct of obstructing the investigations coupled with her position as a minister the presiding chief magistrate, Joanna Chiro, adjourned the case to the 12th of April when she will rule on whether to grant the minister bail or not. The minister and her co-accused were remanded to Luzira till the 12th. Prosecution states that between the months of June 2022 and January 2023, at the office of the Prime Minister's stores in Namave, Kitutu caused the government a loss of iron sheets by diverting them from the intended purpose for her own benefits. The Office of the Director of Public Prosecution spokesperson explains why Minister Mary Kitutu's mother was not charged in court despite being among the recipients of the stolen iron sheets. The Karamoja Affairs has just been charged with loss of public property, conspiracy to defraud in respect to the diversion of iron sheets meant for Karamoja. She has pleaded not guilty to the charges. She has also been charged together with um, the senior assistant secretary at the office of the prime minister and her brother. In the interest of justice, the DPP decided not to charge her mother because of advanced age. She's about 86 years old. Kitutu's troubles stem from the misappropriation of over 14,000 iron sheets meant for the vulnerable Karamajongs. These iron sheets were shared amongst government officials, including Finance Minister, the Speaker of Parliament, among others. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.